exercise bands provide a form of resistance training to strengthen muscles and bones. Correct form is important. Keep your wrists straight and breathe throughout the exercise. Remember, you can benefit from just doing the movements so it's not necessary to have a band. If you are using a band but have pain or can't maintain good form, try the exercise without the band. And if you have high blood pressure, check with your doctor before using resistance. We're going to start the band routine with it behind our back. Right about waist level, and then palms are up, elbows glued to your body. Now check your spinal alignment, and then I think you're ready to go. We're going to do external and internal rotation. Feel this in your shoulder. All right. Here's a change. You're going to pull one arm out and then the other, then bring them both back at the same time. Pull one arm, the other, and then bring it both, bring them both back. Now, open up and pull. And relax. Do it again. Open. Take a deep breath while you're here. And release. Let's do it one arm at a time, and then both arms. Good job. Now, I want you to slacken the tension and just reach. We're not doing this for strengthening. We're just doing it to kind of relax your back, relax your arms. Okay, here we go. Around the waist again and back to that tension. Pull. One arm forward. Keep your wrist straight. Keep your eye on that. Diagonally. The other arm pulls straight forward. A lot to think about. Now diagonally. Okay. Now, are you ready to take that lateral flexion up? Open up one arm. All the way up. Did you feel that? Feel the ribs pinching together on this side and coming farther apart on that side. Let's do your rotator cuff. Keep your chest up and circle. Reverse your circle. This is just to give you a little break and it's a wonderful exercise for the rotator cuff muscles. Now we're going to go to the lower legs, so get your band in front. We're going to put it under your toes. Put the toes down and pull, squeeze, and release. Now I want you to feel this in your back, not so much in your arms. Concentrate on the shoulder blades squeezing together. All right, now we're going to do a very tricky exercise. So get both feet on your band, and then take one foot and push back. This is for the hamstring muscle on the back of your leg. We're going to do two more here, and then we're going to do the other side. That foot stays on the floor, and this one pushes back. Can you feel that? Let's do two more. You're almost finished. There, you did it. For information on Sit and Be Fit workouts, including those for specialty conditions, or for a complimentary copy of the Sit and Be Fit newsletter, write Sit and Be Fit, P.O. Box 8033, Spokane, Washington, 99203. Or call toll-free 1-888-678-9438. Or visit our website, sitandbefit.org.